summer, you can visit the Conecco to experience an exhibit like none other. Critics call it a must-see, and attendees say it's life-changing. Here to tell us all about it is Conecco's executive director, Stephen Grott. Thank you for being here with us this morning. We really appreciate you having us. Well, morning, really Jonah. appreciate pre being here. There we go. We appreciate I you being here. I appreciate you having us. <laughs> yeah. Thank so you. we have a new exhibit. First of all, fancy name. What is the name of this exhibit? Uh, the exhibit is Carne y Arena. And that translates loosely into flesh and sand, which is very much related to kind of the, the abstract concept that surrounds this exhibit. So what is this exhibit mm -hmm. all about? So this exhibit was created by a very well-known filmmaker, Alejandro Iñárritu, and he has a wonderful backlog of films. Uh, we were working, he's working on one right now, but he made Birdman, The Revenant, uh, Moros Peros, um, uh, all of the who have won major awards. And this particular exhibition is a film, but it is a VR experience that uh, is a very high tech. I mean, some of the best technology in the business uh, went into making this. And uh, it's a short film that only lasts about seven, eight minutes. Um, but his approach to this was to be as immersive and as empathy generating as possible. So the technology behind this really totally transports you into this space. I mean, you feel like you're there. And when you say VR, you mean virtual reality, right? So Correct. what can people actually expect from this experience? So I would say that number one, to expect that you are going to have a very powerful, real experience. People are asked to take their shoes off. Um, we brought in 33 tons of sand oh. and completely filled up all of our gallery space with that. You wouldn't be able to recognize our gallery space right now. Um, and people will walk around in their bare feet, which totally changes the experience where you really feel like you're there. You look down and you think that you're supposed to be there. You, you, you look down and expect to see your body. Tons of sand. How do we even get this into the building? So the story behind that um, is, is way too long to really explain, but <laughs> Phi Studios and uh, the Emerson Collective created this traveling exhibit such that it's modular. You can set it up like a concert. Um, but it took our team a month to do it. Uh, Vic Gutman and Associates came to us with this idea about a year ago, which was very short notice in our industry. Uh, but uh, Vic Gutman was uh, very helpful in making it so that the Sherwood Foundation, the Holland Foundation, some other groups could make it so that we could set this up, um, have it ready to go for our community very, very quickly. Now you say this is a traveling exhibit. It's also in another location right now, correct? Correct. Um, it's just in, uh, just opening up in Spain right now. It came, to, ours came to us from Dallas. Uh, it's been in seven, eight cities before that, and it started in 2017 at the Cannes Film Festival. And where can people find more information and when can they come see it? Uh, they can come see it today. Uh, we have a 20% off discount. Um, we don't normally sell tickets, but we do for this exhibit because of just like the very high costs of bringing it to here. Uh, but they can find tickets and more information on our website, theconeco.org. All right, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And this exhibit you, is here in Omaha until September. You can get more information on how you can see it for yourself at Coneco.com.